Green Oak Ranch is a coveted piece of property in Southern Vista, and it's up for sale. Now several government agencies and nonprofits are competing for it. CBS 8's Brian White is working for you in Vista tonight to find out what changes could be in store for this property. The property here at Green Oak Ranch is huge, 138 acres in total. Now, only 110 of those acres are actually for sale, but what you have here is competing visions for how this land should be used. It's a unique and extraordinary opportunity for a future regional behavioral health site in San Diego County. This was County Supervisor Jim Desmond nearly a month ago when the Board of Supervisors decided to enter negotiations with the owners of Green Oak Ranch for a potential sale price of $12 million. Their vision for the property, which over past decades has been host to popular summer camps for kids and RV parking for low-income families, would be a $335 million transformation into a mental health hub. Immediately, I was shocked. Tim Trunconi lives in a residential community near one of the entrances. He found out about the county's proposal three weeks ago and quickly galvanized neighbors to oppose it. We've heard a thousand beds possible. We've heard 200 beds. The story's changed on what exactly is going to happen, so we don't no. I called Supervisor Desmond's office and staff told me they'd have a maximum of 200 beds on the property in what they're calling a regional campus for healing. I have small kids. My neighborhood is, is a family neighborhood. We all have kids and we all have concerns. Desmond's vision, he said, is for referral only recovery and psychiatric programs with 24 7 supervision and security and no walk ins allowed. Once the County of San Diego would become the owners of this property, all land use control uh, would be in the hands of the county. For many decades, Green Oak Ranch Ministries has operated a drug and alcohol recovery program for 50 people at a time. That's on the 28 acres not for sale, so it will remain regardless. Vista's mayor, John Franklin, raises concerns about patients being released from a large county-run facility here. Where will they go? How will they get back to the places that they came from? Others are also interested in buying the property. One is a Vista-based nonprofit, Solutions for Change, that provides homeless services to families. And the other is the City of Vista, which Tim and many of his neighbors support. The City of Vista needs to buy this land and build a sports complex, more fields for our community and our kids. The Vista City Council will be discussing the possibilities in a closed session meeting tomorrow. A large group of neighbors is expected to show up and speak out at the public meeting at 530, though this item is not on the agenda. Working for you in Vista, Brian White, CBS 8.